This is a face of a man who's behind. He's desperate. <laughs> he's desperate for this man's help. <laughs> Torn. I mean, he's a shark guy. <laughs> Do I want to help him? Do I sabotage? I don't know. I'd say sabotage. Look at this guy. That was the longest plane onboarding I've ever seen. Yeah. I want to feel like, like, man, that's where I feel the most pressure. And then right there is like, yeah, it slings up. Okay, so this episode is a little different. When we were at the PGA show last week, we got to spend a full hour with Stack co-founder Sasha McKenzie, and we thought what he had to share was so good, we decided to make this whole episode dedicated to that. So we met Sasha here, right beside the indoor range at the PGA show, and he took a look at our stack results on the app, and then took a look at our swings to give us some tips on how to get faster. By the way, it was loud, our audio is not pristine, we tried to supplement it with captions when necessary. Okay, here's Sasha. Rest looks good. Um, the grit score looks good. So then I'm going to look at your actual training speed. So then I can go, but I really care about are your max swings. That's okay. really what we care about. I see. Those first few sessions were just to kind of like get you in. Condition we don't your body. Hurt people, yeah. 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 Right. So it's conservative to start out. But yeah. this is now we're getting into the training. This is where he's kicking your. <laughs> <ass>. <laughs> Cut that part out. So this is awesome. Right? Okay. Boom. This is this is brilliant. This is probably why I got my money on you. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, Sasha. That's what I'm talking about. So, based on your data, on, I would say thumbs up. The, okay. the, the, the frequency of the workouts is good. Your grit score is super high. The speeds are going up. Like you're doing it right. Okay. I can't wait to look at your swings. You know, to see where you're at. To okay. give you some. That, that's the only place I can give you feedback now. That's yeah. gonna help. Okay. Just looking at your swing and, and giving you some thoughts. Okay. Just max. We'll skip. So so you've gone from 97. So you're making good progress. That's what I said. I'm, yeah. I'm making progress. He's yeah. Just... So uh, uh, I'm I'm thinking the same thing. Like I'm gonna go look at the the, the, the grit score. Oh. Hey, yeah, you turn it. Oh looks. yeah. Coaching. Yeah. 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 I was so out he, of he, for four days. Yeah. 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 Twelfth to the seventeenth. Mm -hmm. That's a big gap. Yeah. Right, yep. and, and that those are the gaps you, you can do that once in a while, mm -hmm. but those are the ones you have to avoid, and that's why my money's on Mike here because he seems to want it more. <laughs> like, he's not complaining about basketball tournaments, it's true. making up excuses. All right, let's get you guys warm. Let's, let's, let's get warm. Right, I want to see your max swing. Let's okay, get, you're ready to go. There's the effort that we're talking about. And right away, I can tell that you kind of lost balance. Yeah, right? it wasn't crazy. Right. But you know, you did a little Scotty Shuffler dance around. Yeah. That's good. Okay. That that that's where we want. We want you to kind of be on the edge. Okay. Okay. So let, let's see a couple more, and I'll give you a few more. Give you a few more thoughts. You got You got a, quite a bit of a pause at the top, which I like. Okay. Slow back swing. That's fine. One ten. One ten. Holy, on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Instant. I'm gonna actually give you some more because everything looks so good. Some more advanced thoughts. And who knows when we're when we're going to be together again? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So right now it looks like you are um, very controlled in, in in with your wrist angles. Okay. That angle between your former club, and I'd like to see that be a bit more dynamic. Okay. So let's put like uh, 140 on there. I, I like thinking like um, you know like Gary Woodland type stuff. Um, where you can work on like um, shorter backswing maybe, but really accelerating it quick. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna get you to do is actually not do a, a completely full turn. I okay. want you to feel like you've got room, especially to just take a swing, go to the top, and then come come down like a go to the top pause. What I want to feel like like in here is where we're getting the loading. Okay. And, and I don't want that to be from the top. So, so up here, it's kind of like, oh yeah, and there's that constant, constant pressure, you know. Yeah. I don't want to feel like, like, man, that's where I feel the most pressure. Uh, okay. And then right there is like, yeah, it slings up. Okay. All right, does that make sense? That makes sense. So these are going to be slower. Okay. Because, you know, we're not taking the full turn, but it allows you to really focus on, on that, that wrist move. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Yep. And you want to feel like, you're not pulling it in, the act of just driving the hands down, lift here, lift down, pull it 
know what I mean? Like if yep. you were to back up with the trailer on, yep. right? There's no, there's nothing at the trailer hitch that's causing that trailer turn. It's the force that causes that jack lift. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Perfect. That was perfect. Oh. Yeah, I, absolutely. Okay. So, so I see that as something that's potentially holding you back. It looks like um, almost like a Steve Stricker. So it might be something that creeps into your swing in yeah. a good way. Or it could just be, hey, we're going to get higher speeds in training and it's going to be a better training. Yeah, okay. You will look at max swing. Yeah, max swing. Yeah. Eli's max swing, everybody. Max swing. All right, look tight. Look tight. Right. Yeah. Take a, take a few more. I gotta get you lathered up here. What would you expect more? Where, when you say tight, where does it look tight? Everything's so tight here. I want to see, as you stir down, I almost want to see, like, sink a bit. I want to see kind of this action. I want to see, like, that kind of, kind of yeah. some stretch here. I want to see, like, that hit go on yeah. this stays back. Yeah. You know? There should be, but what I'm seeing is, like, everything's kind of moving at once. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like there's a lot of muscle going on. It looks like you got. Looks like you got a lot of potential. You have more potential. I, I don't know who's got more potential. You guys are going to get fat. You get scary. So, a little more relaxed at the top. I feel like yep. things are still going back when you start down. There's no rush to get out of transition. I'm uh. going better. I'm going to have you put on heavier weights because I want you to feel like actually what, what Mike was trying to feel. You need to feel like things come to a stop. Everything comes to a stop before you start down. Okay, I want, to, I want to improve your transition speed. Okay. Um, I want you to feel like you have more patience. I want you to feel like like a Cameron Young. Yeah. You picture Cameron Young? Yeah. Okay. Hideki Matsuyama. Yeah. Let's just see what that looks like. Think about a little, a little pause for everything. And, and I, I think for you, that I'm, you feeling like you stop at the top yeah. is really just going to get to normal. This is what I use as a visual cue. When, I, when I'm watching players from the phone, I'll, you know, this is what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to watch to see when your lower body starts to move in the downswing. Then my eyes quickly go up to the club head. And if I don't have a very clear picture of that club head, like a crystal clear still photographer picture, then that means you haven't done a very good job with your transition. That pelvis should be going. We should see a stretch in those obliques. Then we should see that lead arm kind of come into the chest a bit. And then even maybe adding a bit of lag in the wrist. That'd be a ton. And but all, all that means there's going to be a delay. When that moves, to when the club hit moves. Still, yeah, fast. I like that. Still fast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel like you're completely stopping. Okay. That felt like I was It's getting better. Yeah. About right here, starting to get, starting to, you know, your max loaded. Yeah. Starting to walk our way down here. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm worried about is it looks like how you're getting up out of that. Yeah. So the, the rehearsals you were doing, you had the down part, but then there's a disconnect between your lower body and your upper body. So it looked like you went down, right? But then I'm, I'm a lefty here, but then yeah. that, that you went down, but then you were like almost like that lead side went up, but this was it connected to that yeah. shoulder. There has to be a sensation of like put the club head in my hand. Yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna imagine you're down at like impact, yeah. right? So get into it. Pull, pull me out. Pull the shark in the pool. <laughs> but right, you see how there's a disconnect? Yeah. You can straighten if you straighten that straighten that leg now, then it can do a little bit of the golf ball. Yeah. So you you have to be thinking, I'm straightening that knee. Yeah. If that doesn't make it to the shoulder out to the club, yeah. there's no point in going down. Right. Right? To do even bit exaggerate more, bend the knee like almost to like a semi-squat. Now pull me up and squat straight. There. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay. You know, it looks like maybe you had good ground reaction forces, but you, you, you didn't. Right. The goal has to be, I'm getting down so that I can pull get that out yeah. to the club. Yeah. Okay. Right. That makes sense. To get that sensation of stopping at the top, right? I want you to feel like you were throwing. That'd be fast. You were throwing that club out up to the top. You're leaving it. Throwing it back. Imagine if I threw your med ball. Yeah. Now I pull the ball back. You catch it, big stretch, and then you throw it back. Yeah. I want you to feel like you're throwing that back up there to get a big stretch, and then you swing it. Gotcha. Finish the foot. Let it. Let it. Yeah. Let it go. Oh. Yeah. Let it big stretch before you start down. When you start down, you start down. There you go. <laughs>
There it is. Awesome, man. Sasha, right. you are the man. Thank you. Thank you. That was really good. All right. <clears throat> All right, Sasha. So you've seen you've seen us now. I I, I can't predict. Can't predict. You, you both have so much potential, honestly. And you and what's good is that you're very different. You know, you both have nice looking golf swings. You have more potential for violence. <laughs> you could explode. Like you've got some hidden fast switch under there, but you've got you got range of motion. I don't know if I can make you violent enough. Okay. You must have had like a peaceful childhood. <laughs> lots of hugs. I don't know. I did. I did. A you look home. like you. I'm from a violent, nasty home. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they get. So I, I got I got to get more violent. Yeah. He's got to get more loose. Yes. Okay. Yes, it's like exactly. It's very different. It's very interesting. Okay. I love I'm it. Excited. Was it in front of the ball or behind? <laughs> Sorry, convention <center. laughs> You This was polar bear. I have no reason to stay with this. It's team, really team, team bear. I need no other reasons to leave. I feel like that hurt him inside. So it's like, you know what? Screw side. I don't really want this. I don't, I don't. I'm sabotaging. Yeah. He's just doing something that yeah, I'm not it's happy like, about. It's like watching the shark go around <laughs> circles. You're like, he's doing it. He's swimming. He's swimming. He's swimming. And the polar bear is like tying a bib. <laughs> The bar, you're saying the bar for the shark is just swimming. Like like la like as the shark goes around, it's like lathering seal blubber on the back. And like, yeah, <laughs> marinate. Marinate. Seal butter. It's seal like butter, it's, it's yeah. like it's like you know that truffle butter they put on like <laughs> yeah. steaks. Marinating it with that. <laughs>